Yo yo, what's going on guys? It's Boy King Chan bringing you another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video and today is Primetime Thursday, you know that means and today we have two new Primetime Marshawn Lynch. What a beast of a card. Um very good. I mean I'm using Aaron Jones and Barkley as my two running backs. Um if you compare I mean Marshawn Lynch is a freak. If you're doing a theme team, I think the Raiders or Fort are probably the best two theme teams or the Falcons because you can have very good boost or one of the team Eagles because you have so many elites but I'm doing a theme team myself let me know if you guys are doing the theme team down in the comments below and the next card that is a prime time is Marcus Peters probably they are refer him to him and you see he's one to two million coins here's why he's so expensive so my best corner of my team right now is Jerry Alexander he's faster better agility Look at that zone. But now I'm working on getting Janet Ramsey, but I'm going to use my power pass on him. Janet Ramsey at the beginning of this game was the best corner. And then they brought Champ and him are like really close. Now they bring this card out. Now his diamond card is like a 93 with power up. So look at that. And you get a power up. So you'd be like 92 man, 90 zone. So he's got the threshold, 94 play rec, 90. Just going to be an absolute beast. And then if you have Kems on him, he's going to even be better. So you're doing a, fat, a Rams or a Chiefs team team. Going to be an amazing car to have. So right now I think Marcus Peters is referred to as the best corner in the game. So we're going to jump back. We're going to open up 10 premium packs and one elite player pack that I have. So we're going to jump into it. If you guys are new to the channel and want to see more Madden 19 content, make sure you guys leave a like and also subscribe. And it really does help me out. And I'm right now I'm working on building a theme team. So, and it's the Packer team team. If you guys did know, I'm a huge Packer team. And yes, I know we don't have the best elite players. I mean, look what I really have that I spent a lot is Aaron Rodgers. And I'm going to spend a lot of my offense. Let's see, we have a veteran right tech, which I hopefully he gets uh, power because I'm getting him 89. Um, there we go. We'll get Telvin Coleman, which is going to go for a little bit because he's in. The Falcons, but I'm gonna hold on to him because just in case he gets a power up because he's been having a decent game and we get a kickoff, nothing really good. You basically, get some coins, but like, like most of me, like, I've also thought about doing a Raiders team later or the 49ers just because you can really use Jerry Rice and you have really good, both of them have good quarterbacks, just don't have a lot of good weapons. That's number two, it goes to number three. I mean, if you guys have pulled any limited times, I have not pulled any limited time cars this year. Um, which sucks, but I also don't open many packs either, so that's probably why. But I recommend you guys how I've gotten too many coins is playing solo battles. Um, that's all I've been doing is solo battle and draft champions, and you get a lot of coins for doing solo battles. You finish like ultimate, you're getting almost 100k, so nothing wrong with that. Like for me, these core rookies 70 to 75 70 to 75 I just use for training so I mean it gives me a five training but for me five training is five training so let's see we got six more packs to go and then I'm probably gonna open if you get a tire kill power up that's real and I get case here so guess what this card goes to like 20k for power up. so I'll be selling that and get my coins back that I paid for about a week ago I paid 15k and its price is still that I kept checking okay it's, it's should I sell now and then? Oh, we get two power ups in this game. Please be tire kill. Uh, I think Devin McCourty has a, a prime time. He's got a veteran. So this card, free safety, not bad at all with zone. So, I mean, he could be a good card to sell. I mean, I'm going to hold on to him if he gets another upgraded card. You got to think this year you want to invest in power ups because a simple fact. Any car, like, you see, okay, like, Kumex had a great game on Sunday. You want to start buying Oh, my God, I don't want to. Why does it just automatically go there? I, like, don't open that. Those are for Christmas. But, okay, game. I think because it goes by pack. Okay, you have this many more packs. So, I was like, don't do that. Those are supposed to be Christmas. And we get a kicker right there. So far, I've not pulled. I've only pulled one Elite. Like, earlier to yesterday, I was opening seven... I open seven go, uh, seven gold player packs and pull seven straight elites. I was like, wow, my packs are hot. And you, once your packs are hot, you just keep it. And right now, my packs are dry. But 
I think everyone's open packs so they're gonna be reduced. So that's why I like open them late at night when I get off of work. Because no one's really open so that the pack odds are in your favor. And yeah, so far nothing. I mean if he gets an upgrade card, I think this card has one of those rising stars. So if he gets an upgrade to be an 87, 88, this card's invaluable. You gotta remember, you gotta think of what cards are out instead. So like Mike Mike Hilton has a rising star. So if he has a good week, gets that power up, the base gold go up in price like Patrick Mahomes. From being like two three K to being now ten fifteen K because of some effect he's almost a team of the week card. Now you gotta think about that. that's basically how you look at what cards to do. Wow, nothing in that. Alright, let's go open up Elite Player Pack just to see what we can get. Hopefully at least a good Elite. Maybe two Elites in this pack. Oh my god, that's scary. I thought I'd pull a prime time. But he is a good training card. I mean, if you're doing an all theme chargers, right there I got, I've pulled a two flashbacks in back to back packs, so. That's probably my elite, probably for the video. And we get a power of Tyree Kill, please. I already have you. But this, I mean, I could sell him, but I'm probably going to utilize him because he doesn't go for much because everyone can pull him now. But I'll probably utilize him for training. Um, just so I can get my training up. I have now three, four cards. That's seven. I would almost have 4,000 training, so I can really upgrade a lot of my players on my team now because of that. But we're going to open up two more gold premium packs. And that's probably going to be it for this video. So if you guys are enjoying these packs and want to see more, make sure you guys leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. You have no clue. It makes me want to keep pumping out content if you guys keep liking the videos. That's how I look at it. The more you guys like pack openings, the more I'll open them for you. But I'm doing is, I would say, I'm keeping my daily objectives for Christmas so I can have like... Oh, he! I think he has a prime time player too. I think Dante Hightower's power up. Maybe go. Yes, he has a prime time. So if you're doing all pack packs team, this card everyone's gonna want. So this power may go for a little bit, but probably not. I mean, when it first came out, yes. But now he's been off like two weeks. Not gonna be going for much. I'm gonna open up one more, and that's about it. I don't mind because. Why do you keep doing, oh, I got 15k, that was supposed to be for Christmas. But hey, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take those 15,000. <laughs> so we ain't gotta take that, right? So right there, I'm gonna make a lot of coins on Christmas. I'm hoping to make a million coins on Christmas Day. I'm just hoping for it, but you never know. So we're gonna just try the cheese since I made 15k. I'm um, gonna check out how much this Russell Court... I don't know how to say steam, but like I pull this out of a pack opening. I have 775 training. Now I and Brian Dawkins is going for 750. See? You just better just train him. Cause you would sell this for probably 62, you divide it, that's right there. Great training for its value. Yes, that is a great training card. Training card, like my rules when I get him and they're going to under 75,000 you train because that's how much they go for, so Right there, there's there's 1500. And then I have this card. He's going for under 75. So, and his price is going to drop come Friday. So, there's right there is almost 2500,000. 25. And then this card I could utilize for training too. Not going for much. But you see, I've invested power. See, I have Casey Hayward. Now, if you go to my newest, and you're going to see uh, Casey Hayward. I'm hoping he goes for 15k, but probably he's dropped a little bit. Yeah, I bought it too early. I might have lost some coins, but I'm going to wait. I mean, I bought it from when I was 15. I should have waited. But, I mean, getting that out of a gold player pack and making 9k, nothing wrong with that. I think anytime you can make 9 to 10k on a power up, you're doing pretty good. So, that's a good card to pull. Um, Another power up we pulled would be, I think, I don't know if Dante Hightower is going for anything now. No, but right there, you can spend a thousand coins, get his car up to an 89, and been really good. Um, another power by pulled would have been Devin McCordy, which probably isn't going for much. So yeah, right there, 
you could literally look for cars going for a thousand. If the best time to buy is when they're under three thousand, I think you invest in three thousand, just get a hundred, two hundred power ups, and you're gonna be set. And then when they get a card, boom, you just sell, sell, sell. When you find out they have a team, team of the week or a veteran, you just sell. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. That was me, Boy Champ, and I'll see you next video. Peace.